clock going, brother. Okay. Um, episode 199. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And um, we are in the process of planning something. Yeah. Hopefully that works out special. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. For episode 200, it's going to work out. It's going to work out. It's going to work out because that's how these things go. Um, we had our third ever meeting after doing um, 200 episodes <laughs> before this. Actually, there was two meetings today. Look, they almost knocked out. I was not. Look, My bad, who said bro. it? So hold on. Hold on. Before, before the pod started, I, and I'm going to give Mo some credit. Mo says, Yo, Phil be moving all wild and shit. <laughs> you might need to get him away hey, from the stuff. Cool, she cool. wasn't lying. Because if you knock over those, man. Broke that's the plant. Uh, plant. Oh, yeah, I did break the plant. I don't, <laughs> that, I don't know what I was laughing at. All right, but episode 200 or 199, 200 on the way. The world is different than it was when we were here last week. Mm. The Supreme Court decided that they was going to do uh, or revert us back 50 years on women's reproductive rights. Mm. So maybe I'll get us started. I'm not sure if we're the right podcast to give people information about the Supreme Court. We versatile. We can do it. We're, we're definitely versatile. But yeah. what I would say is that um, this is one of the first decisions I've seen where rights are taken away. Generally, the Supreme Court... The position is to expand rights. Um, and this will be one of the first decisions that I've seen where rights were contracted. Um, as, as men, I, I don't personally know what it's like to be pregnant. Mm -hmm. I, I have no clue what those decisions look like because I'm not a woman. Right. But I would say we should listen to women in regards to what they would like to do in this decision. Mm -hmm. Our country is, is a wild country. And this Supreme Court, we know Trump was able to steal a few of those nominees. Well, actually not Trump, Mitch McConnell mm. was able to steal a few of those nominees. And I'm probably going to, so one of my first, we were, one of our meetings was talking about some separate content. One of my first topics will be um, the Senate. Mm. Because I really want to give people a deep dive into what Mitch McConnell has done since 2019. What about this Clarence Thomas brother? Yeah, what's up with him? I did not know black people get that much of a a, a say in what's going on in this country. He is one of the few. He is not black. He, he Clarence Thomas might be the most powerful black man in America. Mm. Besides um, Peebles. Who's the the wealthy Mario, real estate? Mario Van Peebles? No, oh, <laughs> no. I want to say his name is Don Peebles, and I could be wrong, but he's like the um, he's the wealthiest black real estate developer in the world. He's building this thing called the Manifestation Tower in New York City, mm. which will be the largest tower this side of Dubai. Wow. Um, those might be the two most powerful black men in the world. All right, so, 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 my look, bad. Look. Um, just put the camera on me real quick and it's gonna be quick and brief. Clarence Thomas, you a hoe. You a hoe hoe. You a ugly ass hoe. And if you're gonna be reverting back laws, then try reverting back that law that's gonna affect you personally. You hoe ass pot. Oh, he's definitely I can't not. say the word right now because we're in the first few minutes of our pie. But you a hoe, you a hoe hoe, and nothing but a hoe. And the FBI is going to be uh monitoring his uh <laughs> cell phone activity yeah, yeah, for yeah. the next three weeks at the minute. I mean, if they reverting the stuff back to the fifties, then so, so what? It, so the politicians what is his shouldn't be driving in convertible. So Clarence Thomas wrote the majority opinion on um, why the case should be um, determined that abortion should no longer be federally legal. It should be reverted back to the states. So it's not that um, women can't get abortion, but just certain states like Texas. Mm. We're in Texas. For those of you who all know, uh, we basically have a a six week ban, which basically means that you ain't getting no abortions in Texas. Cause mm. most women don't even know they're pregnant until after like six weeks. Yeah. I mean, you gotta miss a cycle first mm -hmm. before you even know that you are pregnant. So um, Clarence Thomas wrote the dissent and then he said he wants to go after gay marriage. Um, he also said he wants to go after, um, um, dang, I've been drinking. 
I shouldn't. What's I shouldn't the one that, that's that's gonna affect him oh, that he, he ain't bother. It, so there, there ain't it was called the loving and roll. Yeah, loving and roll was or not loving and, loving verse roll or some shit like that. I don't know if it was roll, but loving is right, and that's the case that allowed. Which is weird that the United States has a Supreme Court case that allows interracial marriage. Mm. That country, is weird to me. Our country tears. So he's trying to. No, he that's can't. The, that's the only he's married one to a white woman. That's the only one that he didn't say anything about. Hold on. All so, the other ones. You see the like, hypocrisy in this yeah, shit? All the other ones. He's well, like, yeah, we need to look wife. at it. Hold on. Going back to Clarence Thomas, um, I know this might be funny to y'all, but I used to read Jet Magazine and all these magazines back in the gap, right? Clarence Thomas had a scandal. Am I right? Um, Anita, ba- Anita Hill. With Anita Hill, right? Anita Hill. What happened with that again? He had her watching bestiality porn. Well, they were doing a lot of wild stuff. And yeah. who was this girl? Anita Hill was a clerk. So before Clarence Thomas got on Supreme Court, yeah. um, Anita Hill um, was a clerk that yeah. worked under him, under his direction in his office. Mm-hmm. And he was sexually harassing her. That's what I remember reading and, when I was young. And to KC's point, a lot of stuff was going on. Wow. She testified. This is where She's Joe white. Biden. No, she black. She black. This is where Joe Biden um was kind of at fault. And while a lot of black people really didn't support the Joe Biden because when Anita Hill went up, one of the main people who was against her was Joe Biden. Mm. Like a lot of his questions were like random and we want to support Clarence Thomas. We want to make sure that he makes it. A lot of people in our community knew Clarence Thomas wasn't for us. No, he's a hoe. I mean, we knew he wasn't for us. A hoe, hoe. So, um, Fish face looking hoe. So... <laughs> Y'all seen the the lady give pro- Trump his props? Yes, oh, and yeah. said white life. Yeah. Now what? in her defense, I, ain't no defense I, of her. I, no, I'm just saying. I don't, There's I don't no know. defense of her. She said that she misspoke. Ain't no defense of her. And did, nah. none of the people buzzed. What did she, what they did she applauded. Mean, they applauded. What did, what does she mean by that? She, I, so I think she meant to say right. To life. I don't care. We're nah, not going to allow you nah. to be stepping not, up. I'm he not, don't mean gosh. that. We ain't defending that whole defending her. at all. I'm not defending her that at all. That whole said. She said white, white life. White life. White and life. everybody applauded. It, it was wild to me. It almost felt like we was living in. What's that movie? Um, Pleasantville. No. Worse. <laughs> no. Worse. <laughs> worse. No. Um, they have the competitions where the people got to get their tribes and they send one person as tribute. Oh, Hunger Her, Games. That's how that, because on hun, that looked like a Hunger Games crowd. Like, we're going to send our best white mm. to defend us. Exactly. Rue. Mm. <laughs> we're going to send our best white. Crazy. But 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 it, it's weird that. Um, These white people are crazy. Bro. It, it, it's really weird yeah, that we are going insane. down this road. We go right back to segregation. I, that they, might be next. They, that's that's up there with the what they pushing. One of, next. Matter of fact, uh, it was a senator who said John Cornyn, mm-hmm. our senator. He lives he lives in Montrose. What? Yeah. Him and he he lives in Montrose. He said we need to go back to uh, now. We need to review the uh, Roe versus Wade. Was no Brown versus, Brown versus Board, Board of Education, education which separate, is the separate the seg- versus equal. Yeah, the, yeah. the segregation. Separate, separate. For education, so these I people mean, are crazy as we, hell, bro. We, we know that, um, and, and see, this was frustrating, and this is why again, somebody I, said y'all ain't gonna see the big picture until you see a white's only uh, Tesla charger. That's true. <laughs> That's real. That's insane. That's real. Yeah. I mean, we didn't want to start the pod on that note because we got some funny stuff to get to. For sure. But I think it would be disrespectful to our women viewership. Yeah. If at the, and we don't care where they stand, they could be for or against it. it I'm did. just saying it's not appropriate to put our beliefs on anyone else. Nah, man, the women had a choice. They should have a choice. The women sure. that was that was for it. Don't say it. I already know what you. I can look at your face and know what you're gonna say. Yeah, just. It, it, it is they, not they, worth it. Yeah, they had a choice, I know bro. know exactly what you're going to say. Yeah, they got the choice. Bro. They really don't have no choice. That's what he wants to say. No, 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 no. I know what you want to say. That's not what I was going to say. I know what you're going oh. to say, though. You got to reference maybe how they looked. Nah, not even that. <laughs> yes, you were. No, I wasn't. Okay, I, you say what you're going to say. Then. They are pieces of shit, too. <laughs> like, how... If... if And all the people... Like, I saw one tweet that, that came out 
there was a lady that was like at 17. She was with her son who's 24. He has two kids now. She was like, um, um, I almost chose to abort him, but I didn't. And now that was the best decision that I could ever made. Blase, blase. Everybody eating her up. Like, you had the choice. choice. You had the choice. But not even just that. Like, my wife was, I can talk about it. She was anxious about this stuff because she wasn't even thinking about, like, no, like she ain't had none of that, the past or nothing like that. But she was thinking about, uh, what's that pregnancy called? It started with the topic. E. Yes. If it gets deadly like that, then you yeah. have to do it. Well, if you're in Texas, you would have to go. Now you have to get as far as California, huh? No, no, no. You, I think you, I think you can get to, um, I think you can get to Nevada. That's like the closest you can get to. Cause Oklahoma has a four week ban. Um, yeah. Four week ban. Right. Um, bro, this Louisiana wild, has bro. a no like at conception. Um, New Mexico at conception, so probably Nevada. Who was the state that immediately started canceling? Uh, um, Tennessee and Arkansas. Tennessee, Tennessee and Arkansas this closed wild, their though. they closed their locations the day that announcement came. Out. Go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead. California um, governor or Gavin or Newsom? Yeah, she she said, "Oh, oh, we're not having that here in California." We we are, we giving our our people the right to uh, make that decision. Like they had to, they had to uh, delete their apps they use for their peer trackers. You got to delete your peer tracking apps. You got a. Uh, I saw a tweet, uh, like a thread where it was saying like, "Yeah, delete your peer tracking apps." Um, what? If if you go into a facility, make sure you 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 masked up so a facial recognition, uh, because you can be convicted. Yeah, a lot of this uh, and see what Shit I is think, insane, bro. These people I think are, what people don't understand, and this that's why I said we we'll get off of this topic, but I, and I'm gonna do a special topic on this, and I'll bring someone to help me with it, mm. a, a, a woman preferably are monsters, cause but what people don't understand is a lot of this goes to the right to privacy. Mm. Like the way that Roe versus Wade was, first off, she lied and said she got um, sexually assaulted by a group of black men. Mm. That's how a lot of this happened back in, in the day. But to make a long story short, a lot of this falls on the privacy doctrine of the of the law mm -hmm. where you have the right to make private decisions. Health, HIPAA is included in that. Mm -hmm. You know, all of these things like matter of fact, when you're in school, FERPA. Like your parents can't just call and get all of your information. Mm -hmm. Like these are laws that are supposed to protect you once you're over 18 for privacy reasons. Mm -hmm. And the Supreme Court said, nah, that privacy shit don't work. We 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 coming after that. And that's why all these other cases can now be up for interpretation. So but we'll get into it more. We definitely well, will get one, into one it. One more thing. I heard that plan B's are like triple the amount now. and Probably so because uh, people are probably gouging. Yeah, they, they're like putting them on Amazon for triple the amount and all of that. So I believe they, it. They, they buying them up in the stores and stuff. Wow. wow. They probably used to be 40. I mean. So now they, I mean, why do you, why do you know the exact <laughs> price? <laughs> His brother calculated price. It used to be like 40. <laughs> 39, <actually>. 98. <laughs> Plus tax is 41. You know if you were in 44, 45. <laughs> Plus tax. Yeah, no. Nah, but, but uh, let, let's get right to, I want to get right to the jokes though. So, um, those of you who hang with us after that um, 10 minute spill, yeah, we, appreciate we appreciate it. it. We had to do it. Y'all hit me with the harmony. If I had That's one exactly wish. That's exactly where I was going. Oh, I got to hit the <laughs> one let's wish, go, one wish, uh, one yeah, wish. Yeah, yeah, hey, man. <laughs> one wish, what one was Ray J doing? Wish. Brother Ray J, we support you, but man, I, I have no clue. Well, he was doing it that verse. To me, it's the only way I. Y'all got y'all got to fill me okay. in on it. Fill so, me in on it. Ray is that J, your little pun now. Huh? Is yeah, that fill your me in. Pun? It's his new one. That's his new one. Fill me in. Oh, I guess. Uh, <laughs> oh, I thought you was doing that on purpose. No, he didn't no, do that. No, oh, no, I thought no, you were doing that. No, no, you credit for no, no reason. For no reason. <laughs> nah, so verses happened, and um, first off, it was a blowout. Mario versus a Marion. Everyone oh, picked. I, oh. 
Everyone. But, but Mario I came I sat back in. and watched and allowed people to just give, oh, well, Mario going to smash him. And I was like, have y'all not heard these two dudes sing? That's the Because that is the versus is not just no dance thing or playing on your CD. You have to sing. Yeah. Not not necessarily. That Brandy was the old. Was the, that was, that the, old was the old verses. Now when you're in the yeah. concert, you got to get up it's there a and concert sing. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think about how you got to get up and the, sing. Watch the um, Cameron and them by himself because they was doing it lip singing. Mm -hmm. I, I knew I was like Mario is about to murder this dude. Okay, but let's talk about the pre-show. So there's a pre-show. Like first a off, tag it was, team man. first off it was too long. The <laughs> pre-show was two hours. It was a pre-show. The pre-show pre to the verse was two hours. It, it was a tag team. It was a tag team. It was match. Sammy was and Pleasure, uh, P. Pleasure P versus Bobby Valentino and Ray J. Yes. Okay. What? Yes. I don't even know how they put these teams together. Ray J did it. <laughs> Ray, Ray J was the producer of that. Ray J put a, a bunch of names in his head. Sammy. And was just like, Sammy. Sammy. First off, Sammy can so Sammy can still sing first yeah, off. Yes. But he needed a stylist. <laughs> yeah. He dressed and, like I would have dressed. And this is coming from LP. He dressed ain't no how shade. I would have dressed. Ain't no, no shade. It but... is shade. I was, I was gonna joke on myself. <laughs> I am comfortable. The one thing I'm comfortable. Brie was like, what the hell is he wearing? Bro. <laughs> he, he had you remember, so back in the day, shiny suits used to be the way. Shiny sure. suit man. Mace. Yeah. Diddy. Yeah. Mace had everybody in a shiny suit. For sure. He had uh, the locks from D Block. Jiggle. Is, he had Jay Z. He had Jay Z in a shiny. Yeah. He did. Sammy wore a shiny vest. I've never no, seen no, that. No, before no, 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 no. He wore a leather. It was a leather jersey. <laughs> Oh, it was a jersey. It was a leather I it was jersey. A vest. It was a leather jersey. I thought that was a vest. Oh, it was that, a, that might be hard. hard. No, it was not. It wasn't. It was, no. a, it was a tank top. Okay, it was a, okay, it was okay. a tank top. Either but it was way, leather. Bro, it I looked terrible. It was just jersey. all black. And then his pants. I, I don't know if he was trying to mimic like joggers or was, they were. But they were jeans. It wasn't a good look. They were. Joggers. They was like they, it was like white going into black. They were jeans though. It was like if Venom busted a nut on some so, pair of jeans. So so <laughs> so, 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 it so wasn't basically a good the brother was out of there. He was but, but he, he could sing. sing. Oh, okay, he could sing. Like out of the first four, he's the only one. And Pleasure P built like LP now. Yeah. I was what? like, who the yeah. hell is that? Pleasure P yeah, is built pleasure like LP. And remember, but. Pleasure P used to weigh like 130. Right, right, right. Pleasure, pleasure P was out there. Pleasure P pleasure was a P part of went, what group? He, uh, Pretty, Ricky. Pretty Ricky. Pretty Ricky. Yeah, right. yeah he Pretty went Ricky down on the hits. he went down on the stage and me and Bree was like, we wonder how he going to get up. He rolled over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he rolled over and did a, <laughs> <laughs> like, but the But to, to cap it all off, Ray J gets up there. Jesus Christ. He had a child in his hand, right? But that, that's after he got mad. Oh. So first he gets up and he says, I know y'all want to hear one wish. Like he, it, like he, he know the crowd is waiting mm. for this song. He guessed before before that. After his first song or whatever, Sammy started singing it. I know, and I he know. got pissed. And he got pissed. He was mad. He's like, why y'all singing my song? Like it's my song. And like he was mad as hell. But when one wish came on. He tried to do his solo first. And I know everybody has seen the meme. Yeah. Cause, cause, and, and the meme is right. If you didn't watch <laughs> the music, you would have had no clue that they were singing One and Wish and right shout there. shout out to my girl, my home girl, Yoshi. The one that she comes yeah, up here yeah, time. Yeah. She the one that did it. Like they posted a video and she retweeted, quoted or whatever. And she was like, if you don't play the sound, you would never think this is your One Wish. I would have uh, never had one wish. clue. That it was one wish. It looked like they were singing um, "Happy People." No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no. what it looked yeah. like he was singing. First off, we we're not supporting that shit. But <laughs> no, the funniest one that I saw was today. Uh, um, what's big fella name that be doing? Uh, <laughs> and then what's the the big dude? Spice Adams. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, he posted it, and he posted it to the Sanford and Son theme song. That, oh that could my work. god, that could work. I was dying. But but before to Phil's point, before the kid gets on stage, Ray mm -hmm. J tries to sing the first lines of One Wish, mm. and you know it's bad because they cut to Brandy, <laughs> and Brandy looks so disappointed yeah. in her brother. For like real? man, man, she looked. He sounded bad. He sounded bro, terrible. He sounded like he never sung a day in his life. That shit make me like you know how I be like playing around singing yeah. like I can make an album sound better. Mm -hmm. they, they, if, the, if the the studio doing them like that, mm -hmm. they can. I can. Well, I think Ray J could sing. 
back then. He's just that, probably a st- like what what it's Brandy, too much crown what Brandy roll in, in um, headphones. He's and not the only one that can't sing. Oh, Them okay. Niggas what, can't sing. What, what Brandy said, she had wrote, uh, wrote on on the Instagrams like she had prepared a tea for him and told him to rest his voice mm, the entire day too. The, the entire day and he didn't drink it or whatever. But he was like, when he sang, he was like, yeah, you know, I got this baby up here. You know, it kind of messed up my... No, I was the like, baby wasn't there first. That's what he I'm saying. He grabbed the baby after. Because like, you yeah. were like, to me, it's the only way, ain't. That's how it sounded. Wow. I was like, come on, dude. Yeah. Like, I, like if, if he's Dorian at that moment... Um, Miles is dead. Agreed. Lil Kim, agreed. Lil Kim and that producer, whatever they, they murked him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He ain't, ain't coming that. with no records. Ain't none of that. Yeah, ain't none of that. <laughs> and what made it sad is it ruined a lot of women who had these fantasies about those guys, mm. like that thought they were still. That's why. That's why when we go to the real verses, that's why I think Mario came out better because he still looked like Mario. Mm. He actually, you know, he got a little weight on him now, but he swole. Mm-hmm. He still sing well. Amarion um, was kind of like, what, oh, bro? Washed. He he was, uh, washed is a good word. Duh. He washed up. It he looked washed, like bro. it. Bro. He ain't got no dance moves? No, he can. He, he can but, but, but it, it was like, but it's, it was, it's, not, dance it's moves. not verses, though. That's yeah. not for verses. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? saying? He got icebox me. Yeah. Like, like, like it verses, bro. That's not going to work. The thing is, bro, what are you like, 35? 35. Yeah, he yeah. Ain't you, ain't, you ain't old at all. You still in your prime. But this is still be able to, like, bust a move. He. Sounded terrible. He sounded terrible. He did. Yes, Damn. he sounded terrible. And it was the after. Uh, I don't want to go too far ahead with the aftermath. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about this. So, like I said before, everybody's talking about Mario gonna smash Mario. Like he's just gonna murder. That's him. what everyone said. And I was like, I just sat there and was like, people are they're, they're not take they not taking the concept of this new versus. Like if they just did tracks over the internet, oh, he'd he would have won. Yeah. It, for Cause, sure, cause Mario only got ten songs. For sure, yeah. But when it came to the vocals, because I knew the new format, now they they got to perform. He couldn't sing. It was mm-hmm. like he's not. He's going against a singer. RL said it best. RL from Next. He was like, "You got him. That's a performer yeah. going yeah. against a singing ass." And, and RL said he might have to apologize about that on Twitter. He no, said, people, "If he said if anybody feels the type of way, yeah. he said if anybody feels type of way, I'll public, uh, I'll publicly apologize because I publicly said it. But about what? It, I didn't see nothing wrong with what he said. Well, well I, I think, mean, that's I, a, a, but the way people took it was was him discrediting Amarion. Like, but he is that's not who they should have been mad at. Because now we can fast forward. They should be mad at the B two K members. I know, I know they yeah. murdered this man. Like, like Jennifer Lopez is a performer to me." Jennifer mm-hmm. Lopez is ass. Hold on. Wait a minute. J- Janet B- Jackson is a performer. I feel you. Yes. I see what you're saying. B2K murdered him? This is why. They wrote a, they they wrote a four this page is, Let me give him the app. Oh, okay. Let me give him the 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 uh they was there. The, 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 the brief fake story. Fake B2K for. was there. Fake Mario brought Mario out fake brought B2K. Mario brought out fake B2K. So, and they could dance better than real B2K too. So this is what happened. <laughs> so starting up this stuff, starting up this stuff, like, um, um, People was in the comments on the uh, what's that shade room, shade room on the shade room mm-hmm. and was like, yeah, he he better bring out B2K or whatever. He may need to bring out B2K. And Omarion himself was in the, the comments and he said, I am B2K. Oh, wow. that was one. OK. And it, then it sound a lot like KC with the poor horseman. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I mean, this is, <laughs> but I ain't on that ego trip where I just dump y'all and stuff like that. But I am <laughs> David Ruffin of the poor horseman. Oh, <laughs> I'm just <messing. laughs> Nah, but uh, so yeah, he did that. Yeah. And then during that uh tour that they was having, yep. uh, the first one B2K was there. The yeah. second one they wasn't. Sure not. So he yep. would have like three chairs set up, and he would kick them down. Yep. Like showing that I'm the main guy, <laughs> and do all the songs, and do all the, all songs. the songs, all the B2K bump, songs, bump, bump everything. That, that, that's him on the songs. No, no. wait, no, that's what we wait, revealed. Wait, what uh-huh. he said on, uh, on Scary Movie? He was uh, like, wait, wait, wait that's 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 <laughs> and so, exactly. and so that happens. Boom. And then uh, uh, Mario did this stuff, or whatever, and he had a kind of a slick stuff to say. So, um, uh, Raz B posted. 
the David Ruffin scene when he got kicked out the Temptations. Mm -hmm. And yeah, then he showed the whole the whole scene where he, he walked the up, whole scene that, where they gave him the letter, everything. Walked yeah. out. Yeah. And then Fizz said, hey, "Look up, Jay Boog was the only one that was quiet. Only one. He was quiet for like two, three days until last night. Um, he posted like a ten page. You know how you can make the pages on the Instagram, with a, a ten page post, and he absolutely ethered that man." First off, Amarion wasn't singing on the songs. He was layered. They layered his voice with the guy that's from uh, Troop, Troop. Uh, Steve Russell, or something like oh, that. Wow. It was Troop. Troop uh, was all there. I do is think of you. All I do. Oh yeah. yeah. So Steve yeah. Russell actually oh, okay, yeah. is the lead singer of B2K. Yes. What? So they layered, yes. they layered his voice on that, Probably and then yes, yes. and then. Um, uh, it was jealousy, jealousy because Amarion was the lead singer, and that was by design because they thought it should be like one lead singer and the three dancers, whatever, or three people behind. And then he, um, uh, he was jealous that all the girls at the time like J Boog and Lil Fizz. I even remember that. Like, see, I'm too old. I yeah, don't I remember yeah. that. I but remember I remember because they used to have the magazines with yeah. all the little the the teen pop star rappers and all that. And they Lil Fizz. Oh, we got someone in here who know. Yeah, yeah see, so, so she we knows. got someone that knows. Yeah. Lil Fizz and J Boog was like everybody's yeah. popular choice out of mm. B2K. Yeah. Who were they? Who were, who was it again? It was Raz Lil Boog. Uh, I mean J Boog, Lil Fizz, and Omarion. Mm. And the only one who had a post career was a Mario. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then so uh he was jealous of that. But then on the second album, Jay Boog started getting more verses and started getting more uh 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 singing moments. And he didn't like that. So they broke up and this is all coming from Jay Boog. So I ain't making none of this shit up. Mm -hmm. He he says that they was on tour and they had a strict no girls policy. Like I guess the dude behind them uh, whatever that nigga name was, uh, Stokes, Strokes or whatever. Yeah. He was behind it like no no girls <laughs> on, on tour. And uh, uh, Amarion, they all had girls or whatever and the one Amarion liked, I guess, ended up getting smashed by one of the other ones. And that's how they broke up because he went back and told Strokes or whatever and they got kicked out the house and he wanted to go single. So that was his way of going single. And then he said, you did that to your bros just to get your mom a house and your brother signed on. And uh, he was like, you begged, you begged me to sign on for the tour because you was in debt. This is all in that post. He eat at that man. Yeah, he doing too much. Like at this he just point. went like, off. Yeah, yeah. Like, you could tell it was all pent up I shit. I, though. I tell, it was because 10 he, pages. Cause he mm -hmm. never talked. Yeah, like yeah. he never talked down on none of the his, his, his character. His character on uh, the movie was like the neutral the, guy. The neutral guy. Even yeah. in real life, with the little fizz and the Mario and shit with yeah, the baby he mama. Was he was always guy. neutral. So you could tell that shit took him over to the tipping point. Like you got me messed up. And and. Anytime this is a um, art of war, mm -hmm. this is from the book Art of War. When your opponent is vulnerable, that's when you attack the most. Sure. And after that versus, if anybody was vulnerable, no, Mario was vulnerable. The tipping point was this though. Even after the 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 um, the what you call them, the whole thing, the whole versus, Mario posted and said uh, he had a whole little. Long ass post about how Mario is still opening up for him, and then um, how he was still B two K or whatever. Oh, yeah. That oh, drew the line. Like I, you could tell that what sparked him to like yeah, be he pissed off. Like, I, and, and, wow. and and you know I don't. Groups are hard to keep together. As a person who works with a lot of podcasts, yeah. I've seen a lot of podcast change. Yeah. <laughs> no, no bullshit. Bro, and, and, no and, bullshit. And, and, and they don't even be making no money. No bullshit. So could you imagine? All them millions of dollars. Could you imagine? Fame, because he yeah. called him a fame hoe. He did call him he a said, fame Exactly, that's what he said. You wanted all the fame. Yep. So, so oh. just the fact that I've seen just, you know, for, for those of you all don't know, because we say this often, we work with other podcasts as well. We got a studio, things like that. I have seen multiple different iterations of the same podcast because people get mad at each other. This was the ether, though. He said it must really suck to be a slave for something that uh, for so long, something that you uh, being a slave for something that you love and can never master. 
he was, I guess he was talking about the R and B shit because he was like, "You never evolved. You True. needed us as much True. as we. You think we needed you? Like mm. we was. Like he was like, you're not the B2K brand, That's nigga. Deep. We are the brand. So here's my question, then, and God I want to. Let's, damn. I didn't think we were gonna spend this much time on it, but let's talk R and B. Fit feel. You say you don't want to get you don't even want to get the yeah, R&B. Yeah, not this type of R&B. I don't know what the, these brothers, this realm of R&B. I don't like them. That brothers. wasn't my. That wasn't my. Yeah, I don't fuck okay, with them. Okay, but make you I need a girlfriend. That shit was hard. Is Tank the current elder statesman of R&B? He started a new podcast, R&B I Money. Think so. Um, he got a not, lot of knowledge he in got the a, business. He, he, he yeah. knows the business. Yeah. He's always trying to put on new R&B acts. Yeah, 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 yeah. But does his catalog stack up to like Usher? People don't know. No, uh, no, 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 hell no. no. Hell he's a writer also. That's yeah, what I'm saying. But, 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 but you got it, y'all. I don't know if y'all know, man. I, I, that's that's what I was going to yeah, get into. No, no I know. I was going to get into that. I was going to get into that, but it's still no. Catalog. Like Usher, Usher out here killing the skates. Us like, are different. Yo, I saw a video of him in skates and I thought it Bro, was I thought it was Photoshop. He makes that performance like he was doing that in Vegas. He'll have a whole You know, I want to go to his dang. um his um, Vegas show. Man, I do want to I heard that. that shit is just amazing. I yes. want to go to it. I want to go yeah, to it. Yeah, strippers and shit. All that, remember that fake money shit? That was part that of was his part show. Of show. Yeah, I know people was hating on him. But is okay, if if we were to rank R and B. Is it the solo acts that carry it or is it the groups? Because personally, my favorite group ever is Jodeci. Mine too. That's my favorite R&B group. It's going to be hard to top them. Yeah, they tough. Then you got like Silk. You got like um, Drew Hill. Drew Hill. Well, I think Boys to Men. I think when you talk about like singing in general and, and soul music, like it was driven by a group back in the day. True. True. So like True. You, you, you had a crew that you rolled with and y'all did corners, just sang on the corner and y'all was trying to get a deal. Like it was all brothers. about get, yeah, it was all about getting with your crew and your yeah, band. And <laughs> so I think that carried on all the way until I mean, they used to walk around with their hand in their pocket snapping. Do what did you do what did you do? So yeah, I think it's driven it's been driven by groups, I think. Nah, for sure. And then you know, Mike it's got Michael Jackson's and Prince's but they used to have beef with each other with other groups and they had just see who could sing, yeah. who could sing the panties off of one like one specific <laughs> lady it'd be eight dudes uh singing to one girl and to see who can just make her the most when moist. we do when we do our next live show i want to do that um, for the pod i want us to bring one person up and each of us get to tell jokes and sing it's gonna be like uh, it's five always heartbeats. it's always one that stands out though <laughs> it is. in the group it is because you you think about little michael jackson with the jackson five yeah. i mean that brother was special if you go but back your and man look, can sing though it's like yeah, that, but he was just so good that's what I'm saying. Nah, he was, I used Michael to, I used so to love his part when he come in and he'll just oh, start. He, he used to kill that. <laughs> nah, but but, 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 but when, when, Mike, when Mike get that, when Mike get the mic, it's special though. Mm. It, it, it's it's a different light that shines when Mike has. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like when he did that robot hey, as a kid, bro. That that brother was a uh, performer. Marianne, I, I was just thinking in my head, like this make me appreciate like Marcus Houston a little bit more. Uh, the kid. That's his cousin, right? Yeah. I, yeah. Well, nah, guess, they tried to make it like they were half brothers. I nah, remember cousins, that shit. Right? I remember Marcus that. Houston, Strokes. Did they what's his say name? It was brothers. What's his, what's his yeah. name? Strokes. I think it's Stokes. Chris Stokes. Chris Stokes. Chris Stokes. Yeah. His brother Strokes. Is, <laughs> that's a wild. That's well, name. There, especially, no, there's especially some wild with history the shit he was doing. Oh yeah. But, I heard, I heard. About that, no. but um, they were pushing it like they were half brothers. Oh, I, thought I remember cousins. that. Yeah, I they they was talking like they were half brothers. But speaking of brothers, before we go any further. These dudes decide to bring out watermelon. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I forgot about watermelon. That. Oh god, listen, that's cooning at its finest. These bro these dudes during the verses, Omarion had his brother come out. That's when he knew he was losing. The context, so they had like a viral video like last year or something. They, they were singing, and then they had watermelon. It went viral. Him and his brother. So and that's why was, they did. They it. was eating watermelon like like it uh, like it was like it was box. Oh, <laughs> like it was box. <laughs> right, right, right. Yes, yeah. and so. They did this live. 
And a girl ate the watermelon he after gave, that. And he was, gave the and watermelon. And I said, COVID is real. He gave the watermelon <laughs> to a girl, and the girl started eating it. And I was like, yo, Juneteenth, this was on Thursday. <laughs> I was like, Juneteenth was last week. And I said, COVID is still rap and monkey pox. And you eating watermelon from a random person on stage? And uh, Mario said, I don't know what the hell that yeah, was. Yeah, Mario was like, that's why. And then his they, next then one. Then they start calling him oh, O'Melon. O'Melon. Yeah. O'Melon. And then this nigga brings out, he brings out Jeremiah. Oh God! And that he can't sing no more neither. Terrible. He couldn't sing no more neither. Jeremiah, day, why she Jeremiah. Sure? Jeremiah. He couldn't sing I, no more. I'm a fan Jeremiah. of Jeremiah. No, Jeremiah. Bro. Bro. Hey, that boy he said, he said, he he he's jamming. He's like, hey, you. <laughs> he was you know, like, like, I fuck man. with y'all. He said, like, I fuck with you, bro. But nah. He hold said, on, hold look, on. Jeremiah, that was with Fifty Cent. Yes. yes. Yeah. What? Came out. Listen, bro. It sounded just like this. It said. And we can see. I was like, "Yo, Look, what are they when doing?" When he came out, Mario—I uh, mean, Mario was like, "Oh, bro, don't do this. Yeah, like, like stop." And what? then he started singing. He said, "Hey, yo, yo no, stop. stop!" Like he stop, stopped, stop, bro. Yeah. Y'all sound crazy. Yeah, yeah they did what? sound crazy. They sound bro. Crazy. They sounded crazy, bro. I'm telling you, go watch this. But back to R and B. Who is the R and B? And there's one who really is the R and B king, but we won't mention him. <laughs> we won't. We won't. Definitely. Yeah, we but know he, that. but he is the R and B king. He lost it. I know, but he is the R himself. He did. Oh, he did. okay. But it, nobody. No, no, you could combine. That nigga's Voldemort of the music game. He is. <laughs> you you could combine. You can't five say his name. Artists. And they're still not beating him at all. Oh, and then you know, you know, speaking of him, without speaking of him, uh, uh, Marion has said, "Hold on, brother, you just called him out last week." Who? Oh, you did with a joke. You yeah, made the whole joke. Oh, yeah, it was a joke. But I don't fuck the dude. <laughs> I was joking on him. But you know what I'm saying? But no, um, Marion has posted when all this stuff was coming out how he would not perform. He did. Bump, he sure bump, did. bump no more yep, because. Of, of who wrote it? Of who wrote of it? Of who wrote it? He said this. Yeah. That he publicly said it. He was getting his ass whooped so bad he, he thought that it. shit was his trump card. He played that as the last song. And then it was Diddy's part. And then it was. It, and yeah, then he started yeah. trying to sing right. it. And it, yeah. was it was Diddy's verse Diddy's that verse. was rapping. It was Diddy's. That's verse, how you yeah. know it wasn't even playing with the DJ because the DJ played Diddy's yeah. verse while he was trying to sing the song. But but no one. So if we if we're looking at. Uh, maybe this could be a post on our page. Something okay. unique. R and B rankings. Yeah. There, there, we can we can put Voldemort also on there. This is or who what uh, don't talk about Bruno if y'all watch um kids' movies. There's a uh Encanto. Encanto. I was trying to you remember. You can't the talk name. about Bruno. I see that movie every day in my house. Bro, so we can Bruno, put something wrong with Bruno Mars? No. <laughs> I'm confused. I don't know what yeah, I don't know what about. that is either. What do you mean? He got a little boy. You got, he got a little boy though. So he yeah, probably yeah, you would, so that's he, more of a little girl. Yeah, you ain't tapped into Encanto. Encanto's a it's movie. A Disney, it's uh, a coming of age movie for a girl who's in a family of magicians. Okay. Not they're, magicians. They's like, they they're got, magicians. They got superpowers. They're magicians to me. I mean, they <laughs> do magical magicians. shit. So yeah. <laughs> one of them is so magical that anytime he gets involved with stuff, he ruins it. Like mm, his no, thing he tells is the future. But he ruins stuff too, though. Like everything gets ruined when he gets involved. Mm. So the family will not talk about him. That's how we treat the king and our of our B on this. Oh, podcast. okay, okay, okay. I got you. Okay. I follow you. So we could put him up as the main one. Yeah. Who is after that? Fuck. Who is the next person in R and B? Usher, Chris Brown. Chris Brown just dropped forty two songs. I've, 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 I've that album is forty two albums. Forty two no, songs. No, it's not. It's nah, twenty two. Nah. Twenty something. So no, and he said he's re- dropping a deluxe oh. with twenty more. Oh, oh well, but his first one is like twenty something though. His first one, like Chris That's Brown. Still just, a lot. I saw he was on uh, Drink, Drink Champs, Champs, and he said uh, he talked about doing the verses with Usher, and he was just like, I would be wanting to like. You know, give him his flowers too, and then they was like, "But you know, who would win?" He was like, "Shit, I got a lot of songs." So does Usher, and they can I, both I perform and sing. I ain't Usher gonna lie. got a lot of songs. I ain't gonna lie, you don't want to stand on that stage with CB, bro. You both know, of them you can what? perform. And Usher sing. got the new the, the new skating shit. He do. But Chris Brown yeah, is special. <laughs> Chris Brown might be too. Chris Brown is special performer. But, but okay. I ain't taking nothing from Usher though. And the brother did Chris a front Br- flip on beat. On beat. Yeah. And, and got and back, got back to the roof. That nigga is tough. Okay. 
Is I don't Yo, know. Usher can fact. dance, bro. Nah, nah, hey, now nah. ain't nobody touching yeah. Chris Brown. Not man. right now. Yeah. And dancing, nah, nah Chris Brown got tough, it. But as a performer with like a whole theme, if if you give us time, Usher I feel time, like Usher. I think, okay, Usher I feel like okay, Usher okay. because. Chris Brown has shaky moments vocally live with the Michael Jackson thing when they tried oh, to do I that tribute. During the tribute. He yeah, couldn't do it. Yeah. He was, yeah. He was, he was, he was crying. Nah, you can't cry on stage. Even though, even then. Like, what the like, hell? No, no, no. Fuck that. He got that performance. But even no, he, 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 he did. That Michael the whole Jackson thing. Tribute, man, that man killed yes, that. No, he did not. But yes, it was more dancing than vocals. Yes, exactly. It was more dancing. And even when he does like other live performances on like award shows, like when he did the Michael Jackson with Rihanna when they was yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, most of the stuff was lip singing too because he danced so hard. Like he can't, you know what I'm saying? We just learned on Versus, you got to be both. You I ain't going to gonna lie. When I seen him do the Michael Jackson tribute on BET, yeah. he, that brother was he locked. Did, he, that was the first was performance yeah. he had did since he, he had we gone with the rest of But yeah. it wasn't yeah. vocal lives. Like he was- I guess t- I got to like go rewatch it. Yeah, I go he rewatch that joint. He had some, but it was, it was a, a pre-recorded type okay, ordeal. Okay, so, so we're saying that, it, at least I'm hearing, if we were looking at current kings of R&B, it's Chris Brown or Usher. I, I, I'm putting I, Usher I, first. I, 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 it's just Chris hey, Brown hey, I, right now. I, I like Justin still. Timberlake too, bro. R&B? No. Nah, he popped. No? He popped. He popped. Pop. Pop. Okay. His, his two albums he did with, um, what's his name? Um, what's Timberlake. Timberlake. Those yeah. are R&B albums. Okay. Rest okay. Pop. okay. I fuck with Why Justin you Timberlake. Why like that, You don't like Justin Timberlake? Oh, no, what? I, I like Justin Timberlake. We talking like about Justin R&B. Timberlake. He gonna try to include a white. <laughs> Not R&B. He <laughs> is R&B, though. He was R&B, though. Yeah, he's he's not R&B. That, that, nah, he, that he double album saying. that he had, that, um, what was it? Um, I like Justin Timberlake, but he's not in the R&B category. With those two albums with Timberland, he was. What? Those two albums with Timberland was R&B. Justin Timberlake, not R&B? The, only those two albums with, J- with Timberland. But he's more pop. Okay, I, I get that. I'll say that he's, he's more pop. He's about his singing. Like, he's a soulful singer. Yeah, he's definitely What were those two albums he did he's with Timbaland? A, he's uh, Love Stone, uh, uh, Future Justified. Sex, Love Sounds. That shit was hard. That shit was hard. That shit was hard. That's that a shit was pop hard. album, though. Not it's R&B not R&B classified. That's an R&B. Put, look it up. If you show I, me it's classified as an R&B album right now, I do 20 so push-ups. Is, is, Mar- is that Mariah Carey uh, when... Uh, Mariah Carey's a pop artist. That's Mariah saying. Carey she, was a pop, pop but when she got with Jermaine, Jermaine Dupree, Dupree was that it R&B? became R&B. R&B. So how is that not the same for him? That's not a pop... That's not an R&B album. So it when wasn't he got with like Timbaland, that wasn't R&B? Those were R&B. Those were R&B. I thought so. So when he got with Timbaland, those were R&B. It's a pop album. What is it? Pop. Okay, okay. It's still pop. That's pop. Yeah, he's still I right. Oh, yeah, but he ain't got the catalog. Yeah, no, jo- the catalog. John that, that album's good. That John yeah, B. Yeah, yeah, that that John's don't not, know. Yeah, yeah, that, that shit is hard. That shit don't hang me. I can't believe y'all was about to just try to crown this man. We no, I didn't crown him, like brother. I said I he was put him on the list. Dr. Umar, we understand uh, that you listen, know brother. I don't no give a damn about this. About <laughs> but there are white, John B is a white dude who I was called. With John no, B. I, you know who else is called? I like Justin what's Timberlake. That, he can beatbox. He, he what's the, the one that cheated on Paula Patton? Robin Thicke oh, he that, brother, that, that, that album That is an R&B Robin, album Robin Okay, Thicke okay. has a top 20 R&B album of all time That, that brother's nice Of all time that, That's an R&B album Of all time That is an R&B album I wanna album. make this clear I love Paula Patton I just wanna Put that out there. Even after she fried that chicken? I don't give a <laughs> damn. Would you, would well, you, I would, got Uber Eats. Would you, would you eat? <laughs> no, what if she wants you to eat every bite? I'm not eating that <laughs> shit, man. I got Uber Eats. Bro, she put the flour put the in the, the flour grease. in the grease. She I was said like, that's, that's, her, that, that's her family, family recipe. She did say that. Listen. I ain't gotta meet your family. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you so, do. Hey, I sent y'all it's a loving verse road. <laughs> I sent y'all an Instagram earlier yeah. where the guy brought his uh, his queen home to his family for the first time. Uh-huh. And all his mom said was, she's all right. How would y'all Ooh. feel? No, they trashed her in front of him. In front of him. What is this? So I sent, I, it's in the group chat. You you were oh. traveling though, so you good. A guy brings his family or he goes his to parents. eat lunch with his parents mm-hmm. and he brings his girlfriend and they say, is this the one you've been talking about all the time? That's what the mom says first. Ooh. And he's like, yeah, yeah, this, this is her. We, we're like committed. Yeah, now. He says, this is my girlfriend. And, and the dad says, oh. And then the mom says, she's all right. And then the dad then the went dad, on. 
He was like, man, she like a buck Bro, five. Five. What What you can do with this? What? In front of her. It had to be a sketch. They were standing. It, it had, had to, be, to be. It had to be. It had to be a sketch. Because why is he still recording this shit? Because he was hurt. And then he was recording it like this. Like, he, and then he'll go to her and then go to... Like, that had to be a sketch. Oh, man, that's But horrible. even to write that shit Even to write that crazy. shit, that hurts. Because if I was the lady, I'd still been mad. Yeah. Even, and the parents agreeing to it, there was some truth to that. It's, it got to be some they truth to that like joke. Her. I ain't gonna lie, whoever I love, I love. I don't give a damn what my exactly. mama and daddy say. I ain't gonna exactly. But that brings up a good discussion. Yeah. Should your parents have some input on who you end up with? Hell no. Man, I, I don't know. Like, there is supposed to be that guidance that your parents should be able to no, give you no. to let you know if someone's good for oh, you or not. Yeah. yeah. That, Think about you that. Gotta have, you, you, you can have an opinion. That you can, you should, uh, um, he glitched. <laughs> he glitched. He glitched. He glitched. He glitched. This brother's been traveling. Nigga, my controller is dead. Nigga. Nigga. He turned into nigga. a non playable character just, in nigga. front of my us. My controller is <laughs> dead. Nigga, these new batteries. <laughs> he glitched. Oh my God. <laughs> he glitched. <laughs> brother, these new batteries. Hey, hey, you got your nephew to smile, bro. I don't know that's funny. Yo, if your nephew yeah. smiles, I know it's funny, got bro. A glitch. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, to, oh, to his shit. point, I'm gonna help him out. <laughs> you know what I was trying to say. Parents, generally, you know, there's supposed to be that thing. You go, if you're the man, you go ask the father mm. for the hand in marriage. Oh, for sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So obviously, they need to have some say if we're gonna do some traditional okay. relationships. Should the family have something to say about that? That's the that's the, the the girl's mom. But like the the guys, like if the the parents don't like them. They can still, you know, do their own thing. Now, if the girl dad don't want, you know, don't want you around the daughter, you can take that into consideration. Mm -hmm. But if the the girl says like, forget what they talking about, we together, then you go about it. But man, if she, got, if she got a strong, man. if she got a strong influence, like if the dad got a strong influence on the daughter, and she like, ah, we can't make this work. They don't like you. Then that's when it comes to effect. But uh -huh, the dude. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It goes. Like, what's that movie? We talking about Paula Patton, uh, oh, Jump in the Jump Room. In the room yeah. I hate that movie with a passion. Yeah. But that that goes into the, with that. Yeah, the that mom hated her yeah. and yeah. he was going against the mom. Me personally, like I said, it, it wouldn't matter for me. Like, if, if my mom liked her a lot. Because whoever I love, it's my life. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have a say-so when you talking to whoever you was talking to. So, you know what I mean? Like, I, they for, just for me. protect they yeah, see, for sure they do. For sure they like do. The but they don't know. ain't got no job or he ain't got no work ethic. I would so, hope. I got two daughters and I would hope. Like you going to say something I don't know them. who they end up with or who they will love. Yeah. But I would imagine that I hope I have the relationship where they will come talk to me about what's going for on sure. with their significant others. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Because the last thing I would want is for them to be in situations where I feel like I'm going to have to go protect their honor. Yeah, I got Because that's where people die. Yeah. No, I'm being real. No, no, like, that's a fact. Like the, the times that get random for fathers and daughters is when the daughter is saying, yo, such and such beat on me. And I got to now show up with the intention of defending her. And at that point, anything can happen. Yeah. Without a doubt. And that's where, you know, the fear of having daughters come from. That's why a lot of men be like, man, if I got a daughter, I got to show up to the door, you know, at least respectable to make sure whoever this young man is knows that I'm present in my daughter's life. I got a sister and I feel that way, right? Exactly. And she's in college, right? But I have three other brothers that I have to... Yeah, you got you, you to gotta hold them out because they're a little wilder than yeah, me, hey, right? What, what, uh, Lero is wild. Because <laughs> so, I hear his so, bars. <laughs> so so, so I, I definitely understand that aspect of it because you, you want to defend, you know, that, that little girl. It's always going to be a little girl in your eyes, right? And now the um, young rap scallions, I'll say, they shoot before they um, talk. Oh, like definitely. you show up to some young 17, 18 year old now, oh, yeah. they carrying Draco. Oh yeah, they don't fight. They don't, they don't fight, fight at all. They, don't want to fight. they have no conversations. Mm -hmm. They immediately are ready for yeah. action. They don't want to get whooped. They don't want it to be on the internet. They don't want to hear nobody. They don't want nobody to hear about them getting beat up. They they ready to end your life. And that's what's scary. Yeah, that's what's wild. scary. All right. So the last thing we got before we get out of here today, NBA draft. Beautiful, beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. Okay. I'll uh, just just explain Detroit, the Rockets. And whatever. And, and I want to talk Chet Holmgren. We okay. won. I fuck with Chet. You know what I'm saying? Okay. The Rockets, I, th I think the Detroit Pistons had the best draft. 
They 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 I do. talk they nice love. to me. You know what I'm saying? And first you know off, I didn't know that whole history with Ivy's family. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. beautiful. Like the mom played for Detroit the, shock. the Detroit shock. shock. Yeah. The, then the, the granddad. Uh, granddad. Like yo, that was the crazy to me. Did granddad played for the Detroit Lions. I, I had no clue all that, of them that, was from beautiful. Detroit. That's beautiful. Yeah. And then he grew up in Indiana because she coached at North Notre Dame. And then the fact that he fell. To them, yeah, because he wasn't supposed to go that far. Listen, I know my my son is sitting over here. I know he could hear me yelling because I, I was watching. First off, I was pissed when we didn't get top three in the draft. Yeah, but it you worked out. It, it worked, worked out. out. I yeah. was pissed though because we fell to the five, yeah. and I'm like, dog, Sacramento gonna ruin it for me because they ruined us getting into the top three. Yeah, you wanted them to get him. Who I, at before? first I wanted, I wanted Duke from Duke. Yeah. I wanted dude from Duke, but. He was my number two. And then my number three was Shaden Sharp. I was like, one of those three, I'm good. Sharp. Dumb nice. Nice. Okay. <laughs> He's going to be a well, I, I want to ask you a question about yeah. Sharp. Here um, But go ahead. Go ahead. And so um, the first three happened. Uh, Manchero go to the Magic. Chet second. Third goes to uh, Jabbar. So I'm like, oh, God, Sacramento, come on. And then I start seeing, you know, the tweets come out before yeah. the, the the call. The announcement, yeah. So I'm looking at Twitter, and they was like, yeah, they going after Keegan. I'm like, please let this be true. I didn't want to make it solidified until they did it. Yeah. And then they did it, and I started screaming. Like, I'm, oh, my God, let's go. Like I'm tweeting. Well, Detroit would have choked it. And this, and they then, didn't know. As soon, as soon as I, I, like, I was excited that they got, uh, they went past number four. So I'm like, okay, please, Detroit, do not mess this up. Don't overthink it. Just go get this kid. And then the tweets came that they going after Ivy. I'm like, okay, that's yeah. fine. But I'm waiting until they call it. Until the draft. Until coming. they yeah. call it. And when they called it, I started screaming and running through the house. Yeah. That, that's we a good got pick. a backcourt. Yeah. We got Cade and, and we got him. Yeah. And then I was seeing that they was talking about going after Aiden. Aiden. Yeah. And I didn't even know they traded up for this kid yep. until like three picks later. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh shit, we, we got him. Like- he plays like, like he he's a he's a rim protector. He can uh he can jump through the lane, like he'll dunk on people. Mm-hmm. And um and he can run. He can and hoop. he got skills. He can hoop. He was the number one player in high school. So here's my question though. Prior about to Sh- uh, Sharp, because he reclassified. That's what I was got. So Let's talk about Sharp real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He ain't had the best Kentucky career, if we're going to be honest. He didn't play. Year. He didn't play. But he didn't he play like the first two games? No. No. He didn't play at all. He didn't play. He, wasn't, no. he wasn't able to play. Yeah. So that that goes to my point. Yeah. How is it possible that he gets drafted in the lottery? They they watched him. He worked out separate from the team. So they would the scouts would come in and watch him work so out Kyrie separate. Kyrie Irving did. No, no, Kyrie, Kyrie, Kyrie played. played. Kyrie Kyrie played. played. And for whatever reason, I thought Sharp played a couple games too. No, he didn't play. No preseason, no nothing. No, no, he didn't play. I'm they okay. used to they used to come and watch him work out separately. Uh, what's my man Jay Billis say? He used to come to Kentucky's practice, and he say he was so drawn to Shane Sharp workout. He was like, "Oh my God, this kid is amazing!" But he reclassified too. But with no game footage, yeah. How can you get picked in the lottery? That's I just mean, how it potential. Goes sometimes. Potential. Yeah, this yeah. dude is That's shit. It. I watched Giannis shit. But Giannis, he had game footage at least. But Giannis shit was insane because he really look- didn't. It looked like he was playing against third graders. Because that's what it was. He played against nothing but like like low, it looked like third grade. Like lower he yeah. played against lower club teams. <clears throat> it looked yeah. he didn't play in an A league at all. He signed on and that made him eligible. Gotcha. Gotcha. And gotcha, so gotcha. that's how he got to the draft. Cause they they was trying to keep his family together. He's like, like hustle. Like that movie on no Netflix, lie. that's Giannis. Uh, no, this is what's the Giannis. thing, though. Yeah. They family was on the run the entire time he was going through this process. Straight up. And they could. What do you mean on the run? Like, like they was like lost boys. <laughs> Immigration. Yeah. What? Like they was, yeah. they, they had to stay away from the police. They couldn't be exposed. They wow. was worried about him going over and not getting drafted because he would get exposed. exposed yeah. And their family would get exported out of Greece. Wow, so bro. Uh, when he got drafted, um, he brought all of them over. Mm. So so here's my next question. Chet Holmgren. Um, you know, Swag. I'm, from, I'm from Oklahoma City. Yeah. Is is he gonna be any good? He's gonna be good. Hell yeah. How, what, what, is, what, is it, what about Oklahoma? It he going to OKC? I mm-hmm. think I think they messing up SGA's career. Every year SGA is in a rebuild. Bro, he's gonna he's gonna get traded down the road. He's not who 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 what they, is they rebuild? What are the time? Thunder trying to do, bro? I they got know. Giddy. They got SGA. Now they got Chet. 
They got Poku. Like, what are they trying to do? Well, the well they have Poku? they have the, um, uh, center. They, they have, have, center so, they they have uh, so many draft picks. And and what I I could say, what's my man name? Pressy. Presty. Oh man, he he he's he's always been good with 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 the general manager situation. So I, I think he has a plan. He is privileged. He is privileged. He's because, smart too, though. But he's privileged and as as far as NBA GMs. Mm-hmm. The patience that they've given him post Russ, KD, everybody. It's been eight years now. And all he does eight is years. eight years. Stock load. He has, well, he had Chris Paul that year they listen, went to the champ. I mean to the, the, the playoffs. playoffs. But, but it's still been eight years that, since they've done anything. They've had listen to the stars that they had. Twenty twelve. They've had uh 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 Paul George, Carmelo Anthony, Chris Paul, Russell Westbrook. Mm-hmm. Um, KD. No, this is post KD. Oh, okay. Um, um, David West. West didn't play with them. I thought he was no. on there for a second. No, he was on no. with there with New Orleans. Uh, right. what's what's buddy name? The German. Oh, uh, Schroeder. Schroeder. Victor Oladipo. Oladipo. Um, before the injury too. Yes. Who else? Um, just a shit. plethora of he, stars. They had a whole bunch of stars. Yeah. All these people besides Schroeder, who was a, I think he was six man of he the year. Six man of the year. All of these people was like focal parts of the teams, mm-hmm. and it was on Oklahoma City Thunder. And the most you got out of it since KD was the first round. It's because Oklahoma City just got bottle service, bro. It's hard to have an NBA franchise when you just got bottle service. Well, I think he so, might use the all them picks that they have so, so, to to, to draw somebody in. Who wants to come? Like, I, I'm not gonna shit on Oklahoma because I'm not. Yeah, but it is shit, not a prime NBA city. <laughs> I will. I'm telling you right now, bro, like if you have the option to come to Houston versus Oklahoma City, you want to come to Houston. That's what sure. I'm saying. And, pe- and, and and I put it out there. Your brother was like, KD should try to go back to Oklahoma City. No. he's. N- Why the hell would you think somebody would go live from Brooklyn to live in Oklahoma City? Now, I City can see again? Russ going back because that's kind of his personality. Russ has the mentality I want my own team, or at least that's how I feel. Yeah, I want my own not, team. I want to run my own thing. That's not even his ordeal, though. That wouldn't be his ordeal with Oklahoma City no more. Because he would have his own try, team. They trying to make the Rams go to uh, the the Reigns go to um, Giddy. Giddy nice though. He Giddy, Giddy, Giddy nice. nice. Oh, I like Giddy. God, Austra- nice. he, he the I best like Australian Giddy. to me. I like Man, SGA. So nice. Like, but I feel like they're going to just use him another year and then trade up out of that contract. SGA, man. This man is at fashion shows. Get SGA, it in. Oh, it's because, sure. it's be because they tell him to stop playing after February every year. Yeah. Every year. Yeah. Bro, how can you be, how can you go from the Clippers where everyone thought you was like the next good point guard. Yeah, nah, he So is. now every February, go ahead and just stay at home. That kid's so nice. Like, you know how crazy when Chris Paul was there, he was balling. Yeah, like they was. and they was in the playoffs. They, they had those, was that three guard lineup: Schroeder, Paul, and, and him. And he was yeah, balling. Nice. He was balling last year yeah, until was, they sit him down. Nice. Every year. Until they sit After him down. After all sit down. They they want you to suck. They yeah. they want to be able. They to told trash. Horford, "Don't even show up no more. We still got to pay you twelve million. Yeah. Yes. They told him don't even. They said don't even come to the arena or the practice facility. Check, check out my man. Oh uh, shit! <laughs> my man had the dice. Buddy, oh, yeah, buddy, yeah, I buddy saw that. Yeah. He, he swag. Buddy he swag. Swag. He through there. the roof. Yeah. He I'll gonna get to Oklahoma homie. City and be like, what the fuck? Exactly. And what's it, crazy? My homegirl represent him. Uh, who? My home. Uh, she she from Oregon, but okay. she, she's his representative. Up. Well, um, Chet. Is not gonna like Oklahoma. He's not City. gonna like Oklahoma City. Explain uh, the Rockets' moves. So I thought the Rockets did good. <laughs> they, they did they, real they good. They definitely because, got a steal because what I was hoping the Rockets didn't do was draft for fit. Mm-hmm. They picked the best player available yeah. at the time, and I think go ahead, go ahead. No, they they would have been screwed if uh, Banchero and is it Jabari right? Yeah, Jabari. Jabari. If yeah. they would have went one and two. And, and they, they would have been forced with to, Chet. Exactly. They would have been screwed in that. Yeah. It, but getting Jabari helps. But getting Jabari <laughs> helps. Yeah. Because now well. you got, because right now I think the Rockets have Jalen Green, instant offense. Yes. yes. Um, what's the guy who came from? Kevin Porter Kevin Jr. Kevin Porter Jr., Jr. instant offense. Yeah. Now you got a guy who actually doesn't mind playing defense. Yeah. yeah. And he's a bucket as well. But he's he can also, be a bucket. And he's a little longer than and him. And he's, he's oh, yeah. 16. Yeah. Really you know nice. what I'm saying? They, he. John or what not? Who just got traded um, to Dallas? Oh, uh, Christian Wood. Christian Wood. Wood. He can fit in nicely. It's the same timeline. No, he playing a wing though. 
But it's the same timeline. They all the same uh, age. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what and I'm saying? it frees up and the frees, big turkey. Exactly. So now you got the Rockets got a young core that maybe in three years they'll look like New Orleans. That's what I said. I said Rockets got a nice core. Like New they, Orleans got and the then best they, core. They went They went and got, uh, uh, I think, like number 17 pick or something like that. Like, what's his name? Ty oh, Ty. Ty. Yeah. Eason. Yeah. Oh, he dumb. He's he nice. Ty Ty's nice. He nice. Oh, he's he nice. stupid nice. Ty yeah, Ty's nice. nice. So they they got a nice. I just say Detroit stole it because oh yeah, that, Ivy that, fell that worked to him, out. That worked and out. And then they traded up and got uh 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 Duran. But what I really like is that they don't have to go out and try to get Aiden no more to nope. pay all that max. No, nope. because I did not want to give that man no max dollars. Not not knocking him his wallet or nothing like that. But as a Pistons fan, if you already got problems. Of of your work ethic and all that. Once you get that money, yeah, it's, it's like worse. it's a wrap. It's it would have been a nice one two punch with him and Kate, but now we don't have to force that issue, and we don't got to accelerate that shit. You got these young core now, and then we got Isaiah Stewart still, who's gonna be like a yeah. brute force. <laughs> Stone and he, cold. If, if, if he you don't get kicked out the league, you know he's wild. He's wild, wild force. Oh, see, and, oh. and man, we just and we also that, drafted the uh, kid that that's from Seven Lakes. That that played at OU first, then he went to Miami. Oh, second um, round pick. I know he's he talking nice about too. too. But but this is the last thing I want to say about draft. Knicks, what the hell are the Knicks doing? I don't know. They no. they gonna try to sign. No, uh, really though. They like, gonna, they, they did you see what cap. they did? They freed up cap. <laughs> they ended up the worldwide west over there, man. I'm gonna let them do his work. Duh, they freed That's up fair. cap to sign Jalen Brunson. So, so you giving World Wide West credit? You saying that he gonna figure it out? Yeah, yeah. Bruh, World Wide West. He, they freed up cap to f- max sign Jalen Brunson. That's not I, gonna work. What you think? You know, J- the Jalen Brunson is in the top ten guard in the league. Jalen Brunson, I, again, not knocking him because he came up yeah. for sure. He nice. He is nice, mm-hmm. but he is not no max. I said, I, can, I said this months ago. He gonna get that Fred Van, Van Fred, Fleet yeah, money. Yeah, you did say that. You did say but, that. But. If you making him the focal part of your team, would you take Van Vliet or um, Brunson? I fuck with Van. Vliet. I I take I I take Van Vliet, Van Vliet because he already he, been there. Yeah, he championship. He championship. Yeah. And he yeah. wasn't like on the bench. He was a part of that team. Are you taking um, Murray from San Antonio? Or, I'm taking Dejounte or Murray. I take. DeJounte. Okay, so that's what, so this is what I'm getting at. Are you taking Jamal Murray from Denver or Brunson? Jamal uh, I'm Murray. taking Brunson because Jamal Murray been hurt two years. I'm taking Jamal man, Murray. Man, come on, man. No, what I'm saying is they doing all this shit. This man, Wes, has he, he hired signed, his dad. He hired his dad. Yeah. <laughs> Freed up cap. Yep. Bro, this dude, and, this, and you in New York. In New York. New York drove Stephon Marbury to eat Vaseline. No, that was China. Vaseline. That was China. He was in China he when he did, did that. He, bro, he was in no, China when he ate the Vaseline. He was going crazy while he was in New York. I know, he but he playing. ate the Vaseline in China. Why would you eat Vaseline? He wasn't in China. Look he, it up. He was in China, he was in he was China, China when he ate the yeah. Vaseline. Well, New York drove him crazy <laughs> because he wasn't playing. He wasn't playing. That is true. Let me so, tell y'all about Golden State real quick. Yeah. These the rich get richer. Man. They do. They do. They fucking pick Patrick Baldwin Jr. I don't now, know if y'all I, see his what? videos look fake, bro. He no. looks like a creative player. No, he's not fake. Well, it's it's it is, bro. Dude is cold. He's bro. shooting turtle. He's shooting threes. Looking Listen, man. Shit. Where Where he he go go look him go up. Go look up his What's group highlights. Uh, he went Hold to uh, Milwaukee. Put it in the group. Uh, he went I'll to put Milwaukee. I'll put it in the group. Hey man, let me tell you something. He looks insane. This bro is so cold, bro. I don't know how he. He, he's, he's everything. Whatever you want yeah, him he's to be. Tall. He's about 6'9", six, 6'10". Six, he can shoot lights out. He's a playmaker. I'm talking about the rich. I don't go to state, bro. That, I just hope Miles Bridges stay off the pink lemonade. And then when he signs with the Pistons, oh, we're going to be nice. Pink lemonade is good. Uh, who, no, no. My last question. Pink lemonade. Be, because, I know yeah, what you're you talking about. You know what I'm saying. I want no goddamn pink be, lemonade. Uh, who, out of all these draft picks, who is... Uh, who the player most likely to like be lead a, the lead a like a franchise like a John Morant in the next <sighs> couple of years like just immediately go somewhere and none of the, them none nobody of them. in that I, I nobody think this, I think this class is the class of the 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 prime role players border all star line and one of them one of few of them may get all stars. But they ain't like the the nobody the jumped. Out. Ain't no Lucas. No. There's nah. a there's a guy next year. I don't know how to say his last name. Um, Uvalde or Van David or something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. His videos look fake, mm. bro. I saw a video of him. 
Um, I don't know what league he plays over in Europe, mm-hmm. but he's like Giannis, LeBron, and Steph mixed together. Mm-hmm. They threw a, uh, he blocked the dunk first. Or, yeah, I'm no, he blocked the seven five, dude. No, nah, nah, no, nah, he's not seven five. Nah. Oh, he blocks a three pointer. Instead of going all the way to the basket, he stops and pops, shoots a three. Next highlight, he blocks a dunk at the rim, mm-hmm. takes it coast to coast, jumps from like the dots on like three people. But he's got to be playing against sixth graders. It's a, it's I don't a, know who he is though. It's, it's a guard. Nah, nah, this dude is cold. <laughs> it's a guard right now in the NBA D League. His name is Scoop. Okay? Oh, I know you're talking about. This brother skipped his senior year of high school to go play in the G League. He played with the Ignite. So the mm-hmm. Ignite team is different from the whole G League because it's a pool of uh, high profile high school players yeah. and, and, and kids that's going to enter the draft. When I tell you that this young brother, he's going to be a, he's going to be draft eligible next year. He had to spend two years. In yeah, he has to spend two years. He was seventeen last year. He was killing everybody. His name is Scoop. I'm gonna look him up. Look him up. I, I'm I, look I him know up. Who you're talking about. I'm, yeah. did, I'm he cold. Telling, he cold. He nice. Bro. He dumb nice. I'm talking about cold. He treating these grown men like babies. He's seventeen. Okay. He was seventeen. So be on the lookout for his name, nice Scoop. But um, we we I'm excited about the Rockets. We we nah, need to pull sure. up to a Rockets game this nah, year as a yeah, as a group. Be, be we need to do that. Uh, remember we did the box with KB that one time. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, we need yeah, to do yeah. that again yeah. um, as a group, um, y'all. Um, so you know we appreciate y'all support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, can't believe we've done two hundred. About to do two hundred of these. I, I still can't believe that. Um, the Patreon. We 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 actually slowly building that. We'll continue to do more. We we actually in our meeting, we've determined some new ways to get content and do more things. So we're eager to do that. Um, anything y'all want to say before we get out of here, fellas? Uh, yeah. Subscribe. You know, for comment. sure. People have been commenting and though and doing a little more. Us, they have. Man. So I think they got tired of Casey yelling at them. They like that uh, creative creation. Or the recent of you. Oh yeah, definitely. I loved him. Shout out to him. He yeah, was, he was dope. dope. He was dope. He was dope. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Funny. And, and we need we need to do some more with him. But um, episode two hundred will be in y'all feed soon. This mm-hmm. is one ninety nine. And if I only had one wish, it would be that y'all would subscribe some more. And uh, to me, this is the only way. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Man, we out. <laughs> so.